on this episode of JRPG News Update. Kingdom Hearts 3 getting both paid and free DLC. Monolith Soft opens up fifth studio during a hiring spree. And Square Enix have taken over Sony's spot at E3. Monolith Soft, best known as the developers of Xenoblade and co-developers of Breath of the Wild, have opened their fifth studio. It wasn't so long ago I was reporting on their brand new fourth studio and now they've added yet another. Monolith Soft has always been split into different development divisions, with Division 1 calling their Tokyo headquarters home where they work on Xenoblade. A separate division works out of their Kyoto-based studio that mainly assists Nintendo on their projects, with another division led by Barton Kaito's director Yasuyuki Hone that is most likely working on Monolith Soft's unannounced action RPG. What both the recently opened Idebashi studio and this brand new Osaki studio will be working on is unknown at this point. But with the recent recruitment drives confirming Monolith Soft are working on at least three massive projects, the aforementioned action RPG, the new Xenoblade, and a new Legend of Zelda title, I think it's safe to say that they need all the manpower they can get. On the one year anniversary of Metal Max Xeno's release, both the series director and producer confirmed that the next entry in the Metal Max series is undergoing preparation. This period is most commonly referred to as pre-production, as explained in one tweet, ideas for the next game, or rather wild ideas, are being created, analysed and disposed of. Things are cooking up. The series producer hinted that they hoped to make an announcement in the summer, or as he put it, in a scorching hot season reminiscent of Dystokyo. Sony's decision not to have a press conference at E3 this year opened up a rather large slot that Square Enix have happily snapped up. Square Enix will host Square Enix Live E3 2019 on June 10 at 6pm Pacific Time and will reportedly showcase an exciting lineup of titles. It is worth noting that Square Enix are also holding a concert titled Final Fantasy VII A Symphonic Reunion in LA on June 9th, just one day before E3 and their press conference. I wouldn't get your hopes up that the Final Fantasy VII Remake will release anytime soon, even though they have had more than enough time to remake one third of a game for the first episode, but we will probably at least get some news about it during their press conference. Digimon Survive news has been a little quiet since its announcement and a fan reached out to series producer Kazumasa Habu on Twitter wondering if the game had been cancelled or changed. Habu responded saying that work is underway so please rest assured, before revealing the team hoped to share more news either before summer or early summer. The thing to note here is the fan that reached out was replying to a tweet from Habu that said something along the lines of there being a discrepancy between what we as players think a game takes to make and the reality of development. It could mean that they hit a snag during the development and that's why it has been quiet but Habu seems confident they are currently on track. Finally tonight we have some Kingdom Hearts 3 news. During the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra concert in Tokyo, it was revealed both free and paid DLC will be making its way to the game. The free DLC included a new Keyblade and form, while the paid DLC seemed far more extensive. It will include an additional scenario titled Remind, in addition to a limit cut episode and bosses, a secret episode with a new boss, an English voiceover option for the Japanese version, with more promised as part of the package. There is currently no release date or price for the Remind DLC at this time. And that wraps up this episode of JRPG News Update. As always, check the pinned comment down below for all the sources used in the video. And while you're down there, why not let us know what you think of potential Final Fantasy VII Remake news at E3? Do you think it has any hope of being released before the PlayStation 5 launches? Thanks for the liking, subscribing, and the sharing. And I'll see you all soon.